Hey creative friends, welcome to my channel and today is Saturday, October 23rd. Ooh, it's a dark and dreary day if you saw my little thumbnail for this. It's icky out and actually I was on vacation this whole week, my husband and I both were, because our anniversary was last Sunday and we had planned this great trip with some friends in our fifth wheels and we were going to go up to Tillamook, go to the cheese factory, do all kinds of fun things. But then of course on Monday, there was a notice for this big wicked storm that was coming in, like this terrible storm with winds and rain. And uh, then um, Tuesday, we were going to drive up there. Nothing happened. Wednesday, nothing happened. We were actually starting to feel kind of gypped. Ooh, it's starting to rain again. Um, it was kind of a bummer. But then finally, I told my friend, I have never wanted a storm to happen more in my entire life because I wanted to justify not going on our trip. So, lo and behold, then on Thursday, I hope you're not rocking, I'm trying to adjust. Uh, on Thursday, the rain started and some wind, and it's kind of been icky ever since. So, it would have been manageable, probably, uh, to be camping, but it wouldn't have been as enjoyable. And really, the threat wasn't the rain so much as the wind. And um, driving with a big, high-profile vehicle like that isn't a good idea. So, what did I do all week? Well, I did things. I did some cooking. I just did a video last night on my, um, you know, leftover soup. And it's kind of fun, the comments people gave about how they've done that all their life. And reminded, one lady said her, uh, I think it's her grandfather called it stone soup, which is from a story, an old story, which apparently somebody else told me is from like 1720. And it's a story about a guy, basically the uh, whole thing is that he comes into town and all he has is a stone. And he asks the lady for a pot and water and puts a stone in. She's a little bit intrigued, and so before you know it, he's like, well, you know, what would make it better is if we had some carrots, because nobody wanted to give him any food. So then he said, well, if we had, like, some carrots, and she put some carrots in, and somebody puts an onion in, and then someone puts some mutton in, and before you know it, they have this amazing soup that the whole village eats. So um, that's kind of fun, and it reminded me of one time when we did a stone soup potluck at work, and I brought a big pot and with broth, and everybody brought an ingredient for the soup. And then one person brought dinner rolls and butter, and it's still talked about as one of the most fun potlucks and one of the most delicious. So that's kind of a fun story. Anyway, beyond that, so I did that, and then I got one of those, <clears throat> oh, I did a little researching. There is a recipe that I want to do. Um, I did this years ago. It's very cool. It's a friendship fruit cake, and you use um, different cans of fruit, and it kind of ferments over a little while and then you break that up into cups and I could not find a recipe for it anywhere and finally I found a recipe for it so I'm going to do that because that's cool uh, so that's on my plan I did a couple videos that you'll see on Monday and Tuesday for some spice mixes one of them is a chocolate coffee blend so good um this is my favorite thing is to sprinkle it on bananas when you put a little cream on your bananas and just oh my god it's so good and the other one was a um it's a hawaiian chops oh god it's so good it's for uh chicken and chops and i put this in here because i'm going to use this as gifts i'm going to make some little spices and give those as gifts so i've already got them in the jars so that's cool the chicken and chops my favorite um what else did i do oh Oh, I'm making other gifts. I got one of those. I have one of those Cricut machines. It's the big one. And it's kind of cool downstairs because we have the wood stove upstairs. So I have a little one called the Joy. And I brought that upstairs. And I went to the dollar store and got some of these hot pads. See the little hot pads? And I put little little uh, designs on them. Aren't they cute? Isn't that cute? I made those. And I actually made those. And in here is a uh, hot chocolate. So I made those to give to people at work, and I was actually thinking of taking a couple of them and using them as giveaways. If you guys are interested in that, let me know, and I'll just pick a blue one and a red one. And, uh, ooh, maybe I could do one for each week of November, kind of like I did my last one. Anyway, let me know if you're interested in that as a giveaway. I didn't do a video on that. I could if you're interested, but that was just me learning to use my little machine. But I did a video on this, and you'll see this this week. I did the scented pine cones like I talked about. They have to sit in a bag for 24 hours, so that's what they're doing. Uh, everything else is done. Oh, my God. 
It smells so good because it's not just cinnamon. There's like orange in here and coffee essential oils are in there. And this is so yummy smelling. So I've got that coming up. Uh, I wanted to make, this is filled with rice. I think I've shown this before. I made this tube out of fabric. You guys recognize that. And uh, that's really nice to put certain oils on and, you know, heat up in the microwave. So I might do a video on that. But I did. We went to, on Wednesday, I think it was. Yeah. We went over to Eugene. And I went to Hobby Lobby. I love that store. And I got some cute fabrics. And I'm going to use these to make Christmas pillow cases. I think they'll be super cute. And it's the kind where you have, like, um, you have, like, the case and then you have like a little a little edge and then you have the end of it so it makes kind of a cute cute little pillowcase and these are great like if you want to make them for kids cuz of superheroes or maybe someone who's got a special theme that they like i don't know it's kind of fun so i'm going to make some of those but other than that oh i made this this just happened to be laying here look at my little keychain that i made with my little cricket machine Isn't that fun so anyway, that's fun. I don't know. I just constantly have to be doing something. I can't, I can't just sit around. And I really had no plans except for yesterday. I came up with a plan. It's kind of a have to do, not a want to do. And that is to clear out and reorganize my entire pantry room downstairs. I literally woke up at like four o'clock in the morning going, oh, and I could move that shelf. So mm, I don't know. It's going to be fun. Not but it will be worth it. That's the thing. It may not be fun, but it will be worth it. So in the end, I kind of could do a video on that. I just don't want you to see my pantry and the condition it is in now, but what the heck, let's just go for it. Cause I literally have thought to myself, Oh, I'm going to clean that shelf off and I don't want to put any new food on there until I organize what's already on there. So I have taken things that you've seen me do videos on recently, even all the way back to ugly chicken and just set the boxes on the floor in front of the shelves. Oh my God, I've never done that before. But I want to move a table out of there and I want to turn a shelf according to, you know, my three o'clock in the morning idea. So we're going to do that. So that's today. And then tomorrow is my last day. It's not really vacation because it's just Saturday and Sunday. But it's just, you know, chicken coop and garden day, even in the rain because stuff's got to get done. So that's it. I appreciate you guys watching my videos. If you're new here, welcome. I love that you're here and I hope that you enjoy my content. And if you do, hit like. And if you're new here, hit subscribe, hit the little bell and you'll know when I do a video. Every Saturday I do a what's uh, Saturday Happenings just to kind of catch up on the previous week and give you a little idea of what's happening the next week. And there is some cool stuff happening with the gals on the uh, Back to the Pantry Challenge. We've got a really good one coming up. In November and I think it's the 7th it's the first Thursday in November um, so there is going to be a pantry ingredient that we're going to use and we're all going to make uh, something with it and then we've got another fun thing coming up for November that I already have four recipes for so look forward to those and I will give you more information on that coming up but that's it for me I hope you guys all have a wonderful weekend and a next week. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.